Hey everybody, Deathblade here. I'm coming at you with a book review, but this is a little bit different than the type I normally do. I normally do traditional novels. I think I've done one uh, nonfiction book as well. I've never done a comic book, and that is what I'm doing right here, right now. Now, of course, comic books that come from other countries sometimes get described by other names. That's something that personally kind of annoys me because, well, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, so some people might call this manhwa or something else, but in the actual description, on the website, it is being described as a comic book, which I actually like a lot. Now, fair disclosure, I was given a free review copy of this book, not the printed version, but the uh, digital version, so that I could check it out and review it. Other than that, I'm not getting paid or anything for this review, so this really is just my straight up opinion on it. Like I normally do with reviews, I'm going to do my assessment, a brief summary, things I liked and things I didn't like, and then in the end, I'm gonna show you how to get this book, because this is a really special, um, this is a really special version of this comic book. So basically my assessment is thumbs up, yes, uh, get it. It's just, I remember this uh, when I was getting into the wuxia genre many years ago. I remember encountering a digital version of this somewhere, somehow, during some year, I forget. Uh, back then I was obsessed with anything I could find wuxia, and this, this came across my path at some point. So when I, uh, many years later, was offered a review copy uh, to do a, this review, I was re really pleased. And it's just really cool to see a story that you like uh, visually. Um, obviously, this story, well, in case you don't know, uh, well, let's kind of segue into the, uh, the non-spoiler summary here. Uh, and I won't go into too much detail, but for those of you who do know Condor Heroes, you probably can skip this part. For those of you who don't know Condor Heroes, it is uh, one of the most classic wuxia stories. Uh, Jin Yong was, is arguably the most famous and well-known wuxia author, and he had one trilogy of books in particular that are famous even among his own books, and in English they are usually translated, the titles that is, as um, Heaven Sword and Dragon Saber, Legend of the Condor Heroes, and Return of the Condor Heroes. They're all available, uh, translated by fans. Um, Legend of the Condor Heroes has been officially licensed and received a professional translation and is retitled as Legends of the Condor Heroes. I have a pre-review video of that here on my channel. Anyone who's been around my channel for a while has probably seen it. In contrast, this comic book um, is, uh, I think, well, I'm not going to comment on the quality of the translation comparing between the two, but the translation is excellent, and it uses, for the most part, names that people are familiar with. Um, so I highly recommend it, and I think that it's worth getting for anybody who is interested in wuxia and Chinese fantasy genres. So what did I like about it? I mean, the art is just beautiful. Um, I'm going to be overlaying art uh, uh, as I talk, and so you will be able to see it. It's just, it's very well done for in almost every aspect, and it's a, a pleasure to look at. I originally, as I was reading through it, was taking screenshots of, of pieces that I specifically like, but in the end I'm just going with the press kit that was given to me by the publisher, because keeping track of all those little screenshots on my phone was kind of not very convenient. But it's, it's, a, it's great on the art side. In terms of the story, uh, it's a hard to decide for me which of the various Dignon uh, novels are the best in this trilogy. Probably this one. This is one of the most beloved stories. If you are unfamiliar with the story, it is basically about a young couple, uh, Xiaolongyu, or Dragon Girl, as it is translated in this edition, and Yang Guo. Um, and they have sort of a forbidden love because she initially is his teacher. And according to the norms of Chinese society, they shouldn't have a romantic relationship. But they basically just kind of say, screw you to society, and they do their own thing. But of course, there are a lot of dramatic twists and turns and misunderstandings and adventure. And this, I just really love this story um, as I read it in the fan translation. One day I do want to read it in Chinese. That's kind of like on my bucket list of things to do. Hopefully I can get to that sooner rather than later. In terms of things not to like, there isn't really much. I, ha I always want to pick something in my reviews that I say that's a negative. I feel that that kind of makes them a little bit more believable and realistic. I'm not just here to promote something and say, yay, rah, rah, read it. I want to be objective. Objectively speaking, it's, it is hard to pick something that I don't like. Um, I, if I was going to pick one thing, it's the way, it's the style of face um, that the artist picks. And again, this is the smallest, tiniest nitpick. I remember years ago when I was reading, when I came across this, it kind of stuck out to me as being odd and I didn't like it. 
This time around, I also noticed it at first, but uh, when going through and actually reading it, I quickly forgot about that and it just got used to the style. It's just a stylistic thing. Uh, the faces are done in a little bit of a different way than you might expect if you're used to reading manga or manhwa or um, Western comics. That's basically the only negative thing I have to say about it. Um, regarding the actual storyline, it has been so many years since I read the uh, read the translation that I have forgotten a lot of the uh, minutia. And so I can't say 100% for sure how close this sticks to the original story. I would, based on what I read, and I, I also need to qualify that I didn't manage to get through the entire thing before doing this video, but based on what I read, it does seem uh, pretty accurate in terms of following the story. Uh, maybe it's completely accurate. I feel like there's probably some things left out here and there because you can't get every single detail from a novel into the comic book version. But if, if that's something that concerns you, I give it a tacit thumbs up in terms of accuracy as relating to the original, although, again, it's been so many years. And, of course, in the years since, I have watched the TV show versions, and, uh, you know, I would definitely not describe myself as an expert in terms of Dignon and his works by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but my impression was that it's very accurate. Uh, switching over real quick to... Now, brace yourself if you are on a budget, <laughs> but... Basically, uh, this is it on the website. I will include links below. Now, this is for the hardcover box set. As you can see, it's a pretty high price, but that said, this is a six volume hardcover edition. Um, the original was 18 volumes. Uh, it was funded on Kickstarter in 2020, and they're only based on the website and on my communications. My understanding is, as it says right here, they're only making 500 units uh, units available. Uh, it's going to have six hardcover volumes, an autographed and serial numbered book plate, box sleeve on the English edition. On the English edition, now there's also a PDF version which is much cheaper. Uh, where oh, you can incidentally you can get a preview of the first 20 pages. So if you want to see for yourself what the art and the story and the translation and everything is like, you can head to the link in the description. There's also a PDF version, which is significantly cheaper, still um, not super cheap, but for people who want to support Wuxia and like this story, I would say it's very much worth it. To be honest, I would love more than anything, well, I shouldn't say more than anything, but I would love to have um, this as a box set, the hardcover. It just looks so really, really cool. Um, I just can't justify the price, unfortunately. I, and, you know, I would love to get the, the English and Chinese so that I can compare them and, and read them in both languages. It just would be so cool. But I, unfortunately, cannot afford that. I could not convince my wife to let me to get this at this time in my life. As I recently mentioned in my update video uh, about what I've been doing for the past year or so, uh, 2020 and 2021 have been kind of rough. So I can't afford it. But I do think that it is worth it and I could not recommend it more. So I'm going to put links in the description below. If you have any questions or comments about it, please let me know in the comments below. Like, share, especially do share this because I really think that having quality Usha stuff out in the public eye more is a good thing. And so the more people that know about this, the better. I would love for it to just sell out super fast so that the publisher Asia, Asia Pack uh, you know, might be, might consider doing more things like this because, uh, it's just, I, I love this kind of stuff. I know I'm just kind of jabbering here and, and all going on and on because I, I can't say too much good stuff about it. So, uh, again, Return of the Condor Heroes Collector's Edition box set. Um, if I had more than two thumbs, I would give them both. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Check it out. That's it for this video. I will see you next time. Galtz